Now, data sourcing may seem like a very quantitative topic, especially when we're talking about measurement. But I want to measure one important thing here, and that is the social context of measurement. The idea here really is that people are people, and they all have their own goals, and they're going their own ways. And we all have our own thoughts and feelings that don't always coincide with each other. And this can affect measurement. And so for instance, when you're trying to define your goals, and you're trying to maximize them, you want to look at things like, for instance, the business model. An organization's business model, the way they conduct their business, the way they make their money, is tied to its identity and its reason to be. And if you make a recommendation that's contrary to their business model, that can actually be perceived as a threat to their core identity, and people tend to get freaked out in that situation. Also, restrictions. So, for instance, there may be laws, policies, and common practices, both organizationally and culturally that may limit the ways that goals can be met. Now, most of these make a lot of sense. So the idea is you can't just do anything you want, you need to have these constraints. And when you make your recommendations, maybe you'll work creatively in them as long as you're still behaving legally and ethically. But you do need to be aware of these constraints. Next is the environment. And the idea here is that competition occurs both between organizations that company here is trying to reach a goal, but they're competing with company B over there. But probably even more significantly, there is competition within the organization. This is really a recognition of office politics and that when you as a consultant make a recommendation based on your analysis, you need to understand you're kind of dropping a little football into the office and things are going to further one person's career, maybe to the detriment of another. And in order for your recommendations to have the maximum effectiveness, they need to play out well in the office. That's something that you need to be aware of as you're making your recommendations. Finally, there's the issue of manipulation. And a sad truism about people is that any reward system, any reward system at all, will be exploited, and people will generally game the system. This happens especially when you have a strong cutoff you need to get at least 80% or you get fired. And people will do anything to make their numbers appear to be 80%. This happens an awful lot when you look at executive compensation systems, it looks a lot when you have very high stakes school testing. It happens in an enormous number of situations. And so you need to be aware of the risk of exploitation and gaming. Now, don't think then that all is lost. Don't give up you can still do really wonderful assessment, you can get good metrics, just be aware of these particular issues and be sensitive to them as you both conduct your research and as you make your recommendations. So in sum, social factors affect goals and they affect the way that you meet those goals. There are limits and consequences both on how you reach the goals and how really what the goal should be. And that when you're making advice on how to reach those goals, please be sensitive to how things play out with metrics and how people will adapt their behavior to meet the goals. That way, you can make something that's more likely to be implemented the way you meant and more likely to predict accurately what can happen with your goals.